Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy rolling out the latest Patch Tuesday security updates for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And the updates were rolled out and um, started rolling out on the 11th of April, which was late yesterday in my region. And the, ap the April Patch Tuesday security update um, for Windows 10, which um, as many of you will know, rolls out on the second Tuesday of every month. Uh, is KB5025221, which is a compulsory automatic security update, which will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your device. Now, the update does address security issues for Windows 10. And just to go through those quickly, um, there are a total of 56 vulnerabilities uh, which have been fixed and patched. So that's um, numerous vulnerabilities. 51 of those are important and five are critical, which is your highest ranked vulnerability. So although there are no zero days and um, exploits in the wild, um, nonetheless, an important security update rolling out um, addressing five critical vulnerabilities, which are all remote code execution vulnerabilities that have been patched. So 56 vulnerabilities in total, 51 important and five critical, and those five critical are remote code execution vulnerabilities. Now, um, as always with uh, the security updates um, for Patch Tuesday, they also include quality improvements um, that were part of the previous month's optional bug fix update. So for Windows 10, that was KB5023773, which rolled out near the end of March. And if you didn't, if you sorry, if you didn't install this update, um, those improvements and fixes will be carried over into KB5025221 for this month. Now, um, I did post a whole video on KB5023773, which I'll leave a link to in the description. But it did address an issue, an important um, fix actually rolled out where it addressed an issue that affected USB printers and also included uh, numerous bug fixes. So go check that video out um, if you haven't seen it already. But um, Microsoft does mention uh, in the release notes that over and above the bug fixes and improvements from the previous update, and made available with this update. Um, there are also quality improvements that have rolled out with this month's Patch Tuesday update for Windows 10. And there's actually a minor new features, which is mainly affecting system administrators, but nonetheless, uh, just to keep you updated and posted, just to go through these quickly. Um, the new feature is an update that implements the new Windows Local Administrator Password Solution, LAPS, L-A-P-S for short as a Windows inbox feature. Now, basically a quick summary of LAPS is uh, it gives you the ability to secure the local administrator accounts on your deployed Windows devices, according to Microsoft. So as mentioned, that's really aimed at system admins. And um, the update affects the Arab Republic of Egypt. The update supports the government's daylight saving time change order for 2023. So that is a bit of a daylight saving improvement. And um, it also addresses a compatibility issues. Apparently, um, the issue occurred because of unsupported use of the registry. And um, the update addresses a known issue that affects kiosk device profiles. And that's mainly um, aimed at um, enterprises and corporations. And then also brings improvements to the um, Windows servicing stack, which uh, is the component that installs Windows updates. And that's more or less what is new for this month for KB5025221 for Windows 10. And uh, um, once the update has been installed, um, if we just head over to Winver about Windows, this will give us our latest build. And for Windows 10 version 22H2, the OS build has been upgraded to 19045. 0.2846 and if you are running Windows 10 version 21H2 that'll be uh, 19044.2846 and if you are running Windows 20H2 uh, server that'll be 19042.2846 so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one